Two Forks Tower. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... What, sleep? Forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. You're just gonna wait me out on this? Ugh, fine. But I'm gonna take a second here and have a guess about you. Let's see... I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> You probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Woo. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Convenient. That's one word for it.
no, no, no! Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our, uh, pyrotechnicians. Hmm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. Ugh, people are just the worst, aren't they? They're not great, no. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Well, I put out their fire. Man, I want to name that forest fire something good, too. Hey, I can always restart it. Uh, no. I think your first instinct was the right one. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Well, confiscate them. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What, you don't like a cold muskwa light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? There's a... Uh, ooh. Yes? There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on. I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know... Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Side of the lake. 
drink or something. Ew, totally. You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. Don't pull any more shit or you're fucked, all right? Don't threaten us. Yeah, who the hell are you, creep? Oh, he's just one of those lonely guys who likes to boss people around. Why do guys think it's all right to just stare at girls? Duck all of your stuff. Fireworks, the whiskey, you name it. What? You dick! Also, setting off fireworks out here isn't just stupid, it's illegal. Yeah, so is stealing, asshole. That's so fucking bogus. You're gonna pay for that. Can we just get out of here? No, totally. You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. Hey, that go okay? I hope they drown. Yow! I don't think anyone would mourn a couple of future arsonists. Just gonna go ahead and not log that as a threat? Thanks. But seriously, though, thanks for dealing with it. bit of a confession to make what is it um look, i was i was drunk last night when i welcomed you to the job yeah well you're not the first boss to be guilty of that i know i just i know i can get a little pushy you know putting you on the spot about uh why you're out here and stuff it's fine i'll i'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to uh to a minimum Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Hey, uh, I can see my tower. How do I get back? If it's the one I think it is, there should be an old trail the Forest Service closed off a couple years back. And I'm sure the reasons for closing it off had nothing to do with safety, right? Oh, it washed out and became a fucking death trap. So, you know, be careful. I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. There's a horn or an antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made of bone, and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring.
What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. Hello? It looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, oh, sorry, Hank. <sighs> There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Ah! You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. 
a shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. So this generator is all the power I've got out here? Yep. It doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hairdryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. My typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. The place is trashed. My fucking sheets are gone. They stole your sheets? That's just mean. Yeah, it sucks. Okay, I put in a call. That was fast. Yeah, well, do you have any idea who could have done this? Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it, and... Now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I've done it before. Okay, tough guy. Wake up! Hey, wake up! I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. Should I be worried? About what? We can't get help if we need it. Oh, you're tough, Hank. You don't seem like the guy who likes to ask for help. Sure. What I need you to do, though, is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right.
wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. You fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort when it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here. I saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck. What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. <laughs> Something like that? Yeah, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. Glad it worked. What happened last summer that accounted for this um, windfall? Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I'm at the shale slide. I, I can't climb down from here without a rope. Um, you shouldn't need a rope where you're headed. The climb through the canyon has its dangerous bits, but you should be able to do it without gear. Which way is the canyon again? It's just north of your tower. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500-pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Christ, lady. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh. So you have someone there? Well... But you're taking a little break, or... We're... <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Heyo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend? Ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. <sighs> that would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like... Like your wife, or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, 
in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom. ...throw, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? I do believe. Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. I found an old notepad of, uh, 
I guess songs. Someone was writing a song called Old Shoshone. Old Shoshone, where the sky is blue and the teens are nude. Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay then. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that.
Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. Hmm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Hmm, how adventurous of you. I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. Well, keep your radio charged. I'd hate to one day find a skeleton with an orange backpack at the bottom of a ravine. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. How could these girls be so stupid? Trust me, I never underestimate the stupidity of a drunk teenager. Also, I never underestimate the balls of a drunk young woman, having been one. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut, deliberately. I knew it the moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Oh. Mm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far.
I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. tell you, all this climbing and jumping, it's pretty invigorating. Just wait for the rest of the summer when you'll be sitting on your fat ass 14 hours a day. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's, there's enough rope here that I could just... Leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this, this uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. What, was he a fella you had a thing with? Hmm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. Ugh. I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. What, they couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm? Not many can. Unsurprising. Anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece.
I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? Y you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Well, we didn't really understand what was happening. You don't get Alzheimer's in your late 30s. No kidding. But even then, we didn't really get it until she couldn't work anymore and I couldn't leave her alone. It wasn't until then that I said, oh, this is it. This is over. That was hard. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, Flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! There's really no way past some of this underbrush that's grown over the trail. See, the thornier a trail is, the less inclined a ranger is to want to deal with it. They'll just hike or take their horse a different way.
So, how'd you meet? We met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a... PTSD'd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Even those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. 
Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. The tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Oh, they're gone, for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone... Me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? It's threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? Henry, did you attack or do anything that could be perceived as an attack to these campers? No, well, hey, I didn't do this. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops, they're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer.